walk by drive by. And we. Brian are... finished shopping. He's. You're. You are still low on health though. Oh yeah. Let's eat up a lollipop and rebuy it. Do you have enough to rebuy one? No. N no. No, I. You already spent. E you spent everything. Yeah, I bought abilities and such. I thought you would have kept something. Well, I bought that lollipop I just used actually. <laughs> I had uh, enough left for a oh, lollipop, and I bought a that lollipop. One. Yeah. Oh, good job. Uh, oh, don't forget you have your right trigger thing. Yeah. Or are you saving it? Saving it. Oh, okay. I'm just noticing is what? Oh, never mind. That that one has a guitar. I just kind of saw something. All right, Uncle Bong. <laughs> yeah, you got kabonged. Think about it. Didn't the? Okay, I'm trying to think. What is Quick Draw McGraw? Yep. So, did it seem like his his, his little partner was kind of like a, a Mexican uh, stereotype? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Many discussions were had growing up about the terrible stereotypes of <laughs> of cartoons. Yeah. See, the funny thing, it's already stunned. You can kill it right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm having fun. Oh, God. But I remember um, the, the Speedy Gonzales cartoons. They were considered um, like a, a bad stereotype, not because of Speedy himself. Because of Slowpoke Rodriguez. Yeah, because he they thought that he was kind of like a stereotype of Mexicans being lazy. Yeah, oh, he very much is. That... That thing is as bad as blackface. I am not kidding. Slowpoke really? Rodriguez is oh, the geez. worst. Is he funny? Yes. But... <laughs> okay, all of them are set to explode. Oh. Like, all... Oh, uh, yeah. Good job. And... Anything else? No. See, the, being Chinese, there were not a whole lot of racial stereotypes of mine in cartoons. It was more like... The few times that there were... You are very low on health. Yeah. And boss teacher is chasing you. But, um, I mean, pretty much the only uh, Chinese stereotype was just the, um, like, you'd sometimes see a, a character that had, like, the, sort of like that, uh, that straw Raiden hat looking thing. Yeah. That was, that was about it, really. And the, the bad, you know, that, 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 uh, LR thing that is, you know. Oh, the, the heavy accent. Yeah. Yeah. Or just terrible cultural appropriation. Hong Kong fooey. Oh, right. <laughs> I had not even thought about that. And, of course, there was uh, some of the old, um... Yeah, some okay, of the so other... make sure you grab that lollipop before you... Lollipop? Before... Yeah, behind the oh. desk. There you go. What were you saying? Um, there was a bunch of, you know, horrible racial stereotypes that they couldn't cover anymore from Looney Tunes. Yeah. Like, you know, I I get it, you can't, but I loved Hassan Chop. <laughs> Hassan Chop is still... Dude, oh. okay, you really have to press the buttons for this to work. But, um... Yeah, I, I love the Hassan Chop character from that one thing. From uh, that da that Bugs death. Oh, and he is dead. Oh, because I was hitting the wrong button. Whoa, you took... Idiot. Dude? Wow. Wow, I have never actually failed one of those. I didn't know you completely die. Let's get a mag some wise backwards again. Wow. I thought you I thought the body just kinda died and then you just went to you just had to get another body. I didn't know yeah. you flat fail. Well there I go. Fail. Wow. How far back am I failing? I don't know. Oh, not too far back. Okay. Um Right, we started do you, this episode. Do you need to rebuy stuff? Just check your lollipops right quick. Oh. Well, might be too late to buy it now. Uh, you have to press D-pad. Oh, the D-pad, right. Yeah. The D-pad. No, nope, oh, I'm good. Still, okay, yeah, you're fine. Basically, it saved right when I left the shop, I guess. Probably. Oh, goodness. Huzzah! Got him. But I think my favorite of all the terrible ones, though, was, uh, uh -huh. the weird, like, Native American mixed with 70s cannibal film thing that kept trying to cook, uh cook him can i get in there i don't know yeah. i think you can only get close enough to just like hit that get the hit box of the the coins ah. but oh, crap what was it i was trying to think of like we we're talking about something about the uh, racial appropriation yeah 
Uh, you mentioned Hong Kong Fooey for a moment. Yeah. Then there were dynamite zombies. Yeah. Oh, and there was also the uh, the little the that weird cannibal Native American one that just is the worst. Was that the one the the really short one where he kept trying to cook or yeah. convince bugs to get into the soup and he kept treating it like it was just a hot tub? Yeah. And then every time was... he'd cut up carrots into it, he would just pick one up and start eating it. I was I was actually thinking of something else at the time when the when the zombie body that Nick is supposed to jump on, I started talking about something else, and yeah. I got distracted. By me dying? Yes. <laughs> I don't remember. God, I'm legitimately trying to remember, and it is not happening. But... Yeah, I, th I really think you need to not just punch it. You need to hit it with a chainsaw. What was one of the... Because I started thinking, like, all these different... Um, for racial things from cartoons. Like one of them. You look kind of weakened, aren't you? Like one of them, I remember... You, you remember the one where... Um, Elmer Fudd. It was old design Elmer Fudd, where he was yeah. really pudgy. Yeah. There was old design Elmer Fudd as a Canadian Mountie. And... You know, the, the most of the cartoon is just, you know, Bugs versus Elmer antics. Yeah. But at the end... Bugs was captured, he was to be executed by firing squad, and they asked him if he had any last requests. He said he wished he was in Dixie. Suddenly it cuts to a scene where him, uh, Elmer, and like three other guys are all in blackface. Wow. Yeah, like singing a Dixie song. Wow. And I never... See, the thing was, growing up in the South, I didn't know how horribly racist this was. Yeah. It's one of these things now I know, obviously, but at the time... I didn't know. There was just, you know, yeah. it would be on the cartoons. And by the time I'm about age 12, I don't see it anymore. And yeah. I never knew why. Yeah. I was like, what happened? How come there, why'd you cut off my cartoon early? And I, I didn't get it. Until much later, I realized, holy crap, that is horribly disgusting. And yet, I was so, one of those kids that always got offended when stuff shouldn't be for on, on kids' television. And I would, like, get indignant, like, why is this on my TV? This shouldn't be here. Of course, I didn't know that stuff was racist because I grew up with some racist people around me constantly saying this crap, and I didn't know that it wasn't okay. Never said it myself because it just, I wasn't, you know, into bad language. I just thought it was bad language they were, were you using. into collateral damage? Yes. Because you have destroyed Looking for literally coins. every desk in this room. But um, there was one episode with the gremlin that had the airplane-shaped head that was wrecking the plane. Yes. And it tricks okay. Bugs Bunny into falling out of the building, and he turns into a donkey that literally has the word jackass written across it. And I'm like, this shouldn't be on television. Nickelodeon should be ashamed of themselves. That always surprised the heck out of me, because <laughs> I was not aware what it actually meant. I just focused on the word ass the whole time. So, yeah, fo just concentrate on this. You, you don't want to instant kill because Nick falls on his face. And mostly I got my answer Y go. backwards. That's the reason See, I died last time. That's actually what happens to me whenever, I, whenever I'm on the um, on any Nintendo systems. Yeah. Because my brain, I'm like the exact opposite of you. My brain is wired to the Xbox buttons. Mm -hmm. So whenever I was doing these same, the, what's it, the quick time events like that, I would nail them 100% every time. But then I would get something really simple like on, uh, on 3DS or on Wii U. Yeah. And it says, press the X button. Um, and I have to stop and think. Well, also, the X button is located where the A button is on an Xbox controller when you look at a PlayStation right. controller. Yeah, yeah. So like, this is why we worse. have trust issues. <laughs> makes it much worse. Okay, I think you just need to cut Stephanie down. You gotta do it. Ow. She is shooting you big time. Huzzah. Got him. Yoink. There's a door there. Not, yeah, found it. There it is. Ooh, pop. Yoink. Doop, doop, doop. So there was one part I remember really Round gave button. me the fits in this stage. Wait, hold on. Before you grab that, how many do you have right now? Yeah, you might as well just scarf one now before you grab it. Yeah. Oh, right. I actually forgot what the rewards were. Money? Maybe.
But yeah, it was weird going back and seeing, like, all these cartoons I remember watching as a kid that were... That had just all this, all these racial insults in it, and I never knew any better. Mm-hmm. Or just some of the sexual content that was in some of it that we completely missed. Even Rugrats had it. See, I'm, I'm, well, I'm talking more like the, like the Bugs Bunny cartoons. Yeah. Which, the, the, the sexual jokes in cartoons, that seemed to be more like the, um, like around the 90s or so. Yeah. Like when we were kids, because Rocco's Modern Life, Ren and Stimpy, Rocco Rocco especially. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, like when I was older, it was, it was kind of the thing where, um, you know, before YouTube was really a big thing, I would remember, because you know how sometimes you'll remember just snippets of, um, huzzah, of cartoons. Man, you were nailing these. But uh, I would remember little snippets from cartoons, and you know, I'd remember, oh man, that, I remember that. Yeah, that was a, that was a dirty joke. I can't believe that was in it. But then when you know people on YouTube were like, hey, here's some jokes you probably missed when you were a kid and didn't get, and it'll be like ten or twenty jokes all from the same series. Yeah. And when I see these, I'm thinking, holy crap! How did this much shit fly under the radar like that? Yeah, like oh. when. Uh... When Grandpa and Rugrats was wanting to watch his uh, Grandpa Time movie of the Blonde Okay, you might you might need to run. Oh, just run. Bombs. They are okay, all trying to lit get out right now. Yeah. <laughs> I dodged. I'm just watching you just. I dodged. Go explosion. face to face with all these lids. <laughs> really? My zombie. Yeah. Man, you got two Elkabongs. Elkabong them. But uh, yeah, you're talking about. Uh, the yeah, Rugrats? And yeah, like, the, the Grandpa was a dirty old man on that show. Was he? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, he straight up was trying to get the kids to go to sleep so he could watch porn in one episode. His, uh, oh, I remember. Space Vixens episode. Okay. I remember. They, they left, uh, they left the granddad to babysit. No, just, you might as well chainsaw him. You're powered up, you might, uh, never mind. I was gonna say, you might as well cha- power him, just, Whatever. I'm talking in half sentences. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 12.30 a.m. You have to forgive me right now. I forgive no one. But I, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, kids, parents, wash your hands. But I do remember that episode now. Apparently he was babysitting. He had like one of the... Like a video with some kids. Like whatever the kids were supposed to watch. Yeah. But they saw that other thing and he goes, That's for when you kids go to bed. Yep. <laughs> I remember that now. Okay. And... Oh, wait. But I do remember... Really? Money! Oh, my God. Let's, oh, never mind. Okay. Dude. Remember this day. <laughs> Telling the other surviving yeah, the, Yeah, to leave one so yeah. he would tell his friends. Exactly. If you kill everyone, there's no one left to speak of your legend. You have to leave two alive because if one goes back, no one's going to believe him. This is true. You need a, wit- a witness... And then a backup witness. But I do remember Rocco's Modern Life. There was the one where they were shopping for a, a dog bowl for Spunky. Yeah. Which already is a bad name. Yeah. And they went to the mall. They went to that big dog bowl emporium place. And the what was it? The salesman said something like, "We're taking the train. Get on the the doggy style train. Get on yeah. your hands and knees." And I remembered that. I was like. Wow, that is a lot of really bad stuff in, like, one sentence. Do you remember Heifer's girlfriend from one episode? Um. When he went to go visit, um, the farm? They all went to go visit a farm, and I think it was Rocco's family. And they put oh, Heifer in the barn, and they hooked the milking, milking machine. <laughs> and he was making yeah. that face. And then at the end, when he left, he talked about all the special times they had together. Oh, I remember. I had yeah. completely forgotten about that. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna end this episode on that glorious so, note. Yeah. Enjoy that. Take that mental image home with you. <laughs> <laughs>